What's up, Cancer? It's your girl, Sarah from Savvy Sentience, and welcome to your weekly reading. Just like the main channel, Savvy Sentience Tarot, this is not a love and light channel. However, I will bring you all the truth, and I'll try to be a little bit more gentle, because you know, this is a Cancer channel. But you're going to get this truth, all right? So... If you would like a personal reading, that's in the description box below, along with everything, every card that I use in this reading, and even where I get my drip. But let's get into your message, okay? So, the reason why I decided of all the signs that I would make a cancer channel is because during you all season, the messages that you all were receiving, the daily messages, were so intensely spiritual and i seen that a lot of you would be awakening into your spiritual gifts okay a lot of you all are currently going or recently have went through a spiritual awakening okay so i wanted to kind of follow you guys' journey as well as give you guidance throughout your journey hence your channel was born okay so when I was channeling your energy, the message that I received from spirit was this. It's a little bit intense, but bear with me. <laughs> Which one of your wondrous talents are you willing to be destroyed by? You must find your balance or you will find your demise. Okay, so some of you all are finding that you have these gifts and you all are becoming intoxicated by being in the spiritual realm, by being in the astral, by being disconnected from earth and, and, and the, the primary place where you exist at the moment, all right? Some of you all are fearful of your gifts. You are... Um, experiencing them, but it frightens you. And either extreme is dangerous, okay? If you are going to always be in the astral, that means you're losing connection with humanity. You're losing connection with the earth, with nature. If you're going to be fearful and you're going to be too grounded and too rooted in the earth, then you're going to miss out on important information, important downloads, connection, and blessings from your spirit team, from your ancestors, okay? So there has to be this happy medium, all right, in order for you to be successful on your spiritual journey. Now, I'm not saying any of this to frighten you. I'm saying this to better you. So don't take it as fear mongering. I'm not a fan of the fear mongering. Um, but I want you all to understand the importance of balance within your gifting. Okay. For some of you, the gifting isn't necessarily the spiritual gifts, but the mundane gifts. Some of you all are great conversationalists. Some of you all are very helpful, loving individuals. And not everyone has those qualities, but some people will see that you do and they will exploit those. So there does have to be a balance with your tangible abilities as well as your spiritual abilities. OK, so let's go ahead and pull some cards, see what's going on here. We are using the horror tarot in honor of Halloween, my favorite holiday, as well as the deep, the dark, the dangerous oracle. All right, so let's pull your overall energy from the wilds unknown, as we always do. And I see the moon card as I split the deck. So that is about the occult, about the things that you do um, in the dark, in the hidden areas. Um, we have the two of swords showing up as your overall in the, uh, energy, and it's in the reverse, which means this speaks to indecision. All right, stagnancy, not wanting to make a move, not wanting to make a choice. 
And we have the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I definitely just dropped all the cards. But the Six of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. And the Six of Cups speaks to your past. So for some of you all, there may be things from the past that are either encouraging you to spend all your time in the astral, in the spiritual realm, or that are making you afraid to do that. All right. Some of you all may have had some experiences with the spiritual realm that you didn't understand or that you felt were negative. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, maybe one of your relatives was into like darker magics and you experienced some things as a child that just frightened you. So you stay super grounded in reality and in, uh, well, in physical reality and and in the earth versus allowing yourself to, you know, explore that. It feels very associated with fear, okay? If I'm being honest, there's a fear of your own gifting, of your own abilities, because you believe that it's negative or, or it's, um, you believe that it's dangerous or harmful or evil based on what you've experienced as a child. Some of the cards didn't make it. <laughs> All right, so let's get your Deep, Dark, and Dangerous Oracle. And you have Illumination, Hecate. And she comes from the dark. The things that we suppress. All right, so let's see what this is about. What is the message here? All right. And Hecate's message says, seek and you shall find. Sometimes you need to travel through darkness to find the real treasure. Almost anything worth doing takes time. Move off the crossroads. It's time to make a considered decision. Keep your focus on your purpose. Do not wander off the path. The duality of this card is dark versus illumination. The plant of this card is garlic and the crystal companion is moonstone. Well, well, well. Hecate said, you have to make a decision, a considered decision. Okay. Spirit asked you, which one of your gifts are you okay with being destroyed by? So I don't think that, you know, spirit wants you to be destroyed by your gifts. But I feel like for some of you, there's one of them that you, you know, spend more time with. You get caught up in. Uh, some of you all are astral traveling. Some of you all want to be so, so into the spiritual realm that you nap a lot. You sleep a lot. You dream a lot. Instead of actually interacting and engaging with the world, the tangible world that exists. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing this about your fear, but like, I feel like it's sarcastic. Like your fear, for those of you all who are um, afraid to walk in your gifts, spirit said sarcastically, like, and your fear is a gift. Like what a gift that is. Like, really sarcastically, like, I ain't never seen nobody be so afraid like that. Like, that's impressive. So, again, there has to be a balance here. Let's speak to the tarot. It's too many. What does the tarot have to say? I love these uh, deep, dark, and dangerous. They're so good. I wish I had time to, like, read the full descriptions to you guys because they are so deep. I definitely would highly recommend it if you all don't, if you're into oracles. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords rushing into action, rushing in, making a decision. I feel like spirit wants you all to actively choose your gifting. Actively choose your gifting. Not be afraid of them. And actually choose to use them correctly. Some of you all are so wounded from the past that you use your gifts as an escape and it's becoming 
a bit of a addiction. It's becoming um, very toxic. All right. That's because there's some healing that you have left to do. And instead of healing, you're trying to avoid the healing and just stay up here in the astral and hang around with all the spiritual entities instead of facing your real life demons. Like, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, Seven. What did I just say? Because I'll be knowing. I'll be knowing. Ten of Cups is your happiness, your happy place. Knight of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Taking action, moving towards this illusion. The Seven of Cups is about illusion. So you get lost in the spiritual world. You get lost in the spiritual realm. Rather than deal with the things you got to deal with. Ten of Cups, that's what makes you happy. It, it makes you happier to be in the dream realm, in the astral, in the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th dimensions, wherever you travel to when you're not here. But you are placed in this human body with these human traumas for very real spiritual reasons. You have to overcome these real obstacles, these physical obstacles, these mental, emotional obstacles in order to thrive spiritually. All of this shit goes hand in hand. It all goes hand in hand. Earth, being a human, this is, this is a school. The more you learn in your physical form, the more you overcome in your physical form, the stronger you become in the spiritual. So those of you who don't want to face your shadow work, and I feel like that top cup is the ugly boogie man that you don't want to fear from your past. The more you run from it, the more your gifts will swallow you. Stop running. Illumination is what Hecate speaks to. It's time to illuminate the darkness. It's time to see all of the little oogie boogie mans that you need to deal with. And it's time to come at them. Knight of Swords energy slashing. It's time to fuck some shit up. Strength in the reverse. Escaping to the to the astral realm instead of facing your, your demons is weakness. Strength in the reverse. Refusing to shine a light is weakness. Look, chariot. It feels like you're running away with your tail between your legs when it's time to face the music, when it's time to face the demons. You cannot do that or you will weaken yourself. Do we have any messages for those who are too afraid to get into the spiritual realm? I feel like this next, this next, these next messages need to be for them because they're not gonna get off scot free. Ace of Cups, heal. Embark on the spiritual journey. Embark on your healing journey. Page of Swords. Nine of Wands. Mm. I feel like Spirit is saying, while you are gifted, you're just a page. There's going to be several obstacles. There's going to be a lot that you have to face before you gain a level of mastery. Before you gain a level of mastery, there's going to be a lot of bumps in the road. And you will not become a knight. You will not become a king. You will not become a queen. Until you get through these trials. 
Some of you are, are allowing your past to imprison you. You're allowing your pain and your obstacles, your traumas to imprison you. Some of you all are so hypervigilant that you can't even grow because you're suspicious of everything. Everything is a threat to you. And that's why you are needing to heal. Because you see things differently through healed eyes. Your discernment is actually your discernment when you are healed. When you are not, it is your ego telling you what you want to hear. Telling you to do things that you want to do. It is not your true discernment. It is not your intuition. So some of you all have a lot of obstacles to face before you become a knight, a queen, a king. You have to heal. Seven of Pentacles. Page of uh, Five of Swords. Some of you all are fooling yourself into believing that you are It feels like you're fooling yourself into believing that you are, uh, ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. I just got trickster energy. Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. There are certain rewards that you're receiving Or you feel like you're getting some type of harvest, but the way that you're going about doing it, like you're cheating yourself. And I feel like you are being supported by people who don't mean you any good. Like you're surrounded by yes men. You don't have people near you who are telling you, no, that's not it. That's not the answer. Why are you doing that? There are people around you who are just supporting, supporting you whether or not they agree with what you're doing, whether or not they think it's right. I feel like you're taking shortcuts to get to some type of success. But spirit's playing um, when it all falls down. Kanye West. So when it all, when it all falls down. So when it all, when it all falls down. Where would those people be? when it all falls down. They're celebrating with you now. They don't care how you're getting what you're getting. I feel like it's them benefiting from you and they don't care how you, how you get it as long as they can benefit from you. But as soon as you put up your boundaries, as soon as you say, I can't keep going on like this, as soon as you pull back and you focus on yourself, you go into hermit mode, you actually work on the shit that needs to be worked on so that you can be your very your very best version of yourself your most elevated version of yourself where will those people be people like you when you are like them when you are bruised, when you are 
in pain, when you are suffering, when you have drama and trauma around you all the time, they like that because they do too. When you start to heal, when you start to cut off negative energy, when you start to spend more time with yourself, loving and embracing yourself, pouring into yourself, when you start blocking people, when you start hitting people with the, I, I, I don't want to hear that drama. I don't want to hear that. I don't care what happened to Michelle and Dante. I don't care if they broke up again. Like once you start with that kind of energy, oh, she acting different. <laughs> She's so fake. Oh, now she don't care. She she cared before. She was right here with us. Oh, she thinks she's better than us now. She didn't got into her little spiritual shit. Now she thinks she's somebody because she got a crystal. People love to commiserate. They hate when you elevate. Remember that. Speaking from experience. Tell me more. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Four of Wands. It seems like uh, there is the burdens that you're carrying. You have to you have to uh, save yourself from them is what spirit is saying. There is a lot that is burdening you and you have to be bold enough. You have to be brave, brave enough to get that shit off of your shoulders. Get that shit off of your shoulders. When you reach the end of your burdens. It will be a time for celebration. It will be a time for harmony. For some of you all, you will find your person. Four of Wands is 11-11 card, twin flame energy. You will find the person that you're meant for when you overcome the obstacles that are in your way and knocking you off of your alignment. You are not in alignment right now. Like I said, some of y'all are way too much up there. Some of y'all are so grounded that you're not even you're not even using your spiritual gifts because because of fear. Okay? So some of y'all's crown chakra and third eye going crazy, going brazy. <laughs> some of y'all's root chakra is underdeveloped. Like you're operating out of fear. Okay? Any last messages from the tarot? It's time to illuminate what's not working for you. It's time to cut off what's not working for you. It's time to remove yourself from circles that don't support you, that tell you what you want to hear because they like to be uh, commiserating with you. Any last messages from the tarot? Any last messages from the tarot? They're like, we done. We done with this. We off it. <laughs> we off it. We said what we said. One more shuffle. Yeah, they said what they said. They said what they said. Moving on. Moonology messages. What messages do we have for cancer? Three straight out. Time to step out of your comfort zone. For some of y'all, that's that circle that supports you, your circle of yes men, your circle who don't tell it like it is because they want to be in misery with you. Some of y'all, your comfort zone is that place of fear. It's safe there. You don't have to deal with your spirituality. You don't have to uh, get these downloads and hear these uh, spirit guides talking to you. <laughs> y'all, it's not scary. Don't be afraid. All right. Um, conclusions are within reach, though. Full moon eclipse. All right. So what this feels like to me is spirit is giving you a choice right now. As we already know, two of wands in the reverse and Hecate. It's time for you to make a choice right now. But if you fail to, the choice will be made for you. And it's going to be uncomfortable, but it's going to bring about the conclusions that the universe, that spirit, that your spirit team needed to, to happen. So for some of y'all, 
There, like I said, there's people in your life that need to be cut away. And if you don't do it, spirits are eventually going to be like, all right, we gave you the opportunity. Now, this is happening. And people are just going to fall away. Could be ugly. Could be somebody just block you and stop talking to you. I don't know. But spirit going to take care of it if you don't. But that doesn't mean be a coward. That doesn't mean avoid it. Because you don't ever know how you're going to get it. It could be uncomfortable as fuck for you. So make a choice. All right. Be proactive. Make it hurt as little as possible for yourself. All right. And then finally, it's time to breathe out the disseminating moon card. But you're going to be able to, you know, breathe. Breathe out. Exhale. This is my wait until exhale card. All right. You'll finally be able to get that weight off your shoulder. These burdens off of your shoulder. Okay. I really want... To focus more on those of you all who are afraid to deal with your gifting, those of you all who are operating out of fear, I want to see if there's another message for you. I'm just going to cut the deck three times and flip. I'm just feeling compelled to, to talk directly to you. Six of Pentacles energy. In this message, there's the Baphomet. A lot of you all are probably raised in a way where you believe that all of this is demon worship, devil worship, and you're scared of it. So at first glance, this pure, this card looks really ominous and may even feel like for you confirmation. Like I knew it. I knew all of this shit was evil. But the message of the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. It's reciprocity. Um, it's even charity, like being given something. So some of you all are not seeing that you all are being given something that is so beautiful and so um, beneficial to your life because all you see is the false teachings of the negativity of spirituality. All y'all see is the devil worship. Okay. And it's not that at all. So some of y'all really need to get outside of that thinking in order to truly and fully embrace your gifts. The fact that you're even watching a tarot reading right now is saying that the curiosity is there. But I digest. Five of Wands. Conflict. Yeah, you're conflicted. You're conflicted. Because you've been given so many views, so many world views um, about the spirituality and about your gifting. You might see on TikTok these loving lighters being all loving lighty with the candles and the fairy wings and doing their thing. And then on the other side, you hear um, this other girl talking about how she just hexed her whole neighborhood because they're some fake ass bitches. Like, you have to understand that you choose. You choose how you operate in your gifts. You can choose to use it for light. You can choose to use it for dark. How you use it is completely up to you. For some of you, how you use it is up to your ancestry. Because I'm both handed. I'm a two-headed witch, okay? I use it for dark. I use it for light. But that's why you have to come up with your own um, values. If you have to use it for dark, what will it take? Will you just use it because you're mad at the cashier at the fucking quick trip? Or will you use it because someone there's a predator in your neighborhood harming people? You choose how you use it. But it is not explicitly bad or explicitly good. It's completely up to the wielder of the magic. And then the last pile, <laughs> Six of Swords. It's time for you to move away. From that mentality, from that baggage. For some of you all, it's religious baggage that has you believing that your gifting is evil. But whatever it is, whatever the negativity is, it's time to unpack it and leave it where the fuck it's at and move away from it. Period. Point blank. Thank you, spirit. I really felt like y'all needed, those of you all who are operating out of fear, y'all needed more. Because this message seems to be 
kind of favoring those who already operate in their gifts. And I didn't want to leave y'all out. So that's the message for y'all. Let's get your postcard. I mean, your crystal spirit. What crystal spirit would like to speak? Okay. Say me, 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 me. They love to give me words I can't pronounce. Interesting though. Hecate was your card number 21 from the Oracle. And your card from this Oracle is also number 21. So some of y'all may be seeing 21, 21 a lot. Some of y'all may be seeing three, 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 three a lot as 21 reduces down to three. Okay. So this, I'm going to try to pronounce it y'all, but y'all know I can't read all like that. <laughs> um, it's do more tear right. That feels right. Do more tear right. And the essential meaning is organization, orderliness clutter clearing, and list making. Not all plans will come to fruition, but in the planning, we learn so much. Have you worked out your plans, making lists, and organizing your thoughts? Do more to your right spirit's message for you is to take the ideas in your mind and commit them to paper in an orderly fashion, where you are supported right now in structuring plans that will help you achieve fulfillment and healing you seek. Your mental discipline is enhanced now, so pull out your journal and write a to-do list. Draw arrows and pictures that help you prioritize and acknowledge what is most important to you and what needs to be on the low priority end of your list or dropped off your list altogether. Do more to your right spirit wants you to know that you will feel stronger and more confident once you start working out your ideas on paper. And right now, your power to put it all together in a way that works for you is at its peak. Commit to organizing your ideas today for the conscious universe. I want you to know that you are better at this planning stuff than you might think. So some of you all may be needing to plan your healing, needing to prioritize which one of these demons do you need to slay first and which one doesn't bother you as much. For those of you all who are operating out of fear, you may want to attack your indoctrination. You may want to attack your um, belief patterns and where they come from in reference to your spirituality. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get into your advice. Spirit, please use the cards that didn't fall on the floor to give me the advice that the collective needs to hear today. I don't think it's too many. Father of Cups. Period. That's the advice. <laughs> End of the reading. <laughs> Father of Cups energy is about mastery of your spirituality, mastery of your healing, mastery of your gifting. With the Ten of Pentacles and the it's time for you to receive the legacy that spirit and your spirit team has for you. It's time for you to take a leap of, feet, of faith. I'm going to say fear. Don't you take no leaps of fear. Uh, second half of the Cancer Collective. Don't you take no leaps of fear. But it's time for you to take a leap of faith. Okay, put that fear to the side. And truly and optimistically, positively embark on this spiritual journey with a happy heart okay when you when you get to a certain place i won't even say that you're going to be fully healed because healing is a constant situation shadow work is a constant situation but when you get to a place where you are stable where you have made a lot of strides in your healing you are going to find that you operate in your gifts in a more beautiful way, in a more balanced way. You're going to find that, like I said before, negative things you won't be interested in, you won't want to hear about, you won't want to be around. I've literally cut people off just because they were low vibrational. I can't be around it. Don't like it. Um, <laughs> bottom of the deck, four of swords. And the judgment card is time for your awakening. Both of these cards speak to awakening. 
The Four of Swords is about resting your mind and going into a state of meditation about your past. The Three of Swords comes before that, obviously. And then the Judgment card is about awakening, renewal. Once you are renewed, once you reach that point of renewal, you will operate out of your gifts so beautifully without fear. Okay, so this is your message, Cancer. If this resonates for you, please let me know in the comments below. If it resonates way too much, you may want to book a personal reading. That'll be at SavvySentient.com. And until the very next time that I read for you all, wish you all love and light. Now go get right, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.